Hey guys, it's Amber here and I have no makeup on, so no judging. Um, but today I was going to bring you guys in the store with me and try out a video that way, but I totally forgot. I get way too excited when I get to the store. So I have my little end of the week CVS haul sitting behind me. I had a 10 off of 70 that I wanted to use before next week because hopefully I'll get another one on Sunday to use. Mm, but this haul, I'm super excited about. It ends up being a $6.61 moneymaker for the whole thing. So I really want to show you guys this. So if you want to go out and do it yourself, you can. So here we go. Okay, so here we are, guys. This is my end of the week CVS haul. We have some vitamins, some hair stuff, a lot of makeup, Cetaphil, razors, and all of this ended up being free in a $6.61 moneymaker. So let me show you how. Okay, so the first thing I did was go in to use this 10 off of 70. I grabbed two CoverGirl brow pencils at $5.49 each. Two Maybelline eyeshadow quads at $8.29 each, a Revlon liner at $9.29, a Revlon mascara at $10.99, and then two Chic razors at $12.49 each. One was a men's and one was a woman's. I used a $5 off when you spend $15 on Maybelline products paper coupon that I got from an Instagram fairy. Oh, I'm shaky. It look, look at that. I'm going to set that down. It looks like this. And then I used two old $4 printable coupons for the CoverGirl. My store does accept expired coupons, I think, for like 15 days after. Or maybe it's a little bit longer. I'm not sure because those expired pretty early on like 624. But they worked, so I was super happy. Then I had a $4 digital for the women's razor and a $4 digital for the men's razor. My 10 off of 70 came off. Then I had the double CRTs for the Revlon, so two $5 off the Revlon, and then two $3 off of the Maybellines. I used $19 in extra bucks and paid a subtotal of $6.82. But then I got back $6 for the CoverGirl, $5 for the Revlon, $5 for the Maybelline, and $10 for spending $25 on Chic. So we spent out $25.82 total, got back $26 in extra bucks, and then I got back another $6 on Ibotta. It was $3 for the eyeliner and $3 for the mascara. So we got $32 back, and if you do the math, 32 minus $25.82, you get a $6.18 moneymaker on my 10 off 70 transaction. Whew, I was so excited about that. <laughs> So then I did this transaction. I grabbed five of those little Cetaphils in the travel section for $4.49 each because there's a deal if you scan them where you get $5 back when you spend $20 on the trial and travel size stuff. Um, I used a $4 paper coupon for each one, so I used five of those. I used a $1 extra buck and then my change, so I paid out $1.77 in extra bucks plus $0.68. Cents. So I paid $2.45 out, and then it only printed me a $1 extra buck, and my cashier is amazing. Like, she let me use all five of those coupons, so it's going to be, like, based off of how your cashier is, if they would let you use all five. Some will only accept, like, two or three. It really depends, but she force printed me a $6 extra buck. So I got $7 in extra bucks back after paying out $2.45. So this receipt ended up being a $4.55 moneymaker. So then on another account, I grabbed two more of the Maybelline eyeshadow quads at $8.29 each. I used that $5 coupon I showed you earlier. And then I had a 3 off 15 Maybelline because you can stack a 5 off 15 manufacturer with like a 3 off 15 um, store coupon and you don't have to spend 30 you only have to spend 15 and then I had two more of those three dollar off Maybelline CRTs I used one dollar in extra bucks paid a subtotal of a dollar 58 so I paid out 258 got my five dollar extra buck back and that makes this receipt a two dollar and 42 cent money maker I'm like so excited about this you have no idea so now that I made all this money 
I decided to get some things I wanted and we have this receipt. So I got the two B12 Vita Fusions. They're $14.49 each, but they're buy one, get one half. So I think the second one comes up as $7.24. And then I got two of the Miracle Repair hair things from Malibu. I had a $10 coupon for the Vita Fusion, a digital. And then I just used $5.14 in extra bucks. So I did pay a subtotal of $13.37. So we had a total of $18.51 paid out. I got back a $5 extra buck. Then I submitted to Ibotta and I got $3.50 back for each Vita Fusion. So I got $7 back on Ibotta. That made this receipt a total cost of $6.51 for everything. But once you add up everything on the table sitting here ends up being a six dollar and 61 cent money maker that's amazing for a slow week at cvs i have like a hard time getting everything that i buy there to be free and a money maker especially a money maker of six dollars like after everything so I am super, super happy with this. Look at all the makeup I got. I'm, I'm just excited. And I can't wait to try these. And I also needed more B12 for myself. So I'm not just out there like buying random crap, you know, like I'm actually going to use this stuff. So I'm super excited about today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please remember to subscribe. Please click the notification bell and turn your notifications on so you can see when I post on YouTube. I am slowly growing my family here and it's super exciting. Um, and when I do hit 100 followers, which I am at like 88, which I can't even believe. I'm just so happy. I know that's not a lot, but it means a lot to me. And when I hit 100, I want to give away a $25 CVS gift card. So if you want to be entered in that drawing, make sure you're subscribed. Please comment anything down below and like this video. And I will make sure that you are in the drawing for it when I hit 100 followers. So it'll be easy to win because I don't have that many people following. And who knows how many people will comment on this post. Like if you're the only one that does, then you win 25 bucks. So I'm just saying, you guys, please just subscribe, turn the notification bell on, like this video, comment. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys get to CVS before the weekends and grab some of these awesome moneymaker deals.